How to training motion and actually one is haircut training video. If you like to study the haircut, I have a five different haircut video for you. Many hairdressers support my concept of haircut. When you like to study, you have to visualize it, your haircut A to Z over and over again. If you could do it and at least do the hundred times, then you remember. Go. Next we did verbalize explanation. Remember, you have to explain that all the haircut very clearly. That you don't remember clearly, it's a very difficult to explain. She had a little bit of stumble that time, remember that? And we practice body and foot position. You know the one length haircut the only three spot. Behind the chair for two o'clock position, sideways the ten o'clock position, uh, this time in the windy would have made a mistake in two o'clock position. Then go back again, back of the head to two o'clock position again. Then move to the uh, left side for the again ten o'clock position. Only difference this time we have to turn around your body to the opposite direction. Now let's go start one length haircut. One side, the left hand side is a motion only, right hand side is actually haircutting. I just did a comparison how they work. When this body position, I love it is okay, but body position is a little bit too parallel to the cutting hair. Remember, we did a body motion. If you're standing parallel to the foot, and a body position to face the hair cutting the parallel. Both hands are bring to a center to try to cut a hair. As you see, hand made for the triangle shape, that's very difficult to cut a straight line. Now I'd like to explain to you body position. This is the top of the hair cutting, but the same concept of the one length haircut at the bottom of the hair. If you're standing a parallel to the foot, then pick up a hair, hand is as you see, it more like a lifted to the sideway. Everybody tell us you have to lift the elbows up, but even the elbows up, set the highest you go there, you can go up, physically impossible, so you have to be sideway. Head is always too far away from you, so you pull the hair and a pair of standing up, chance of the, you bend the hair and pull out the hair. I always say the two crop forward. Look at this, you have to be the two, two crop forward, your hand go towards more center, and go forward, you see it, you pull straight out, really clean cut, you could do it. Let's look at a little slow motion, top of the hair. You see the two crop position, and uh, pick up a hair, and uh, body go towards forward, and Lay down the finger, right on the scalp, the flat as possible. Then pick up a finger. Then lift it, your body shift it towards head. As you see it. Then you pull out straight out from the scalp. As you watch the elbow, elbows way forward. It's not elbow the backward. Let's go see the front of the view, okay? First you go forward, then you pick up a hair, hold it down to the scalp, and first make sure pair out your head, then go the elbows go down, and the shoulder go in towards forward, just like that. Then gently pull straight up. Now you could see it, a really clear cut, straight cut you could do it, all the time. But you need to practice. Now we'll see that I uh, show the elbow good and bad. Look at the left hand side uh, doing straight up. That's what the left hand side is a two crop position. Right hand side is a parallel to the body. You see the difference portion for the just look at the front. Now you're gonna see the side way to look at it. And a good one, left hand side, as you see the body go forward and the leaning, 
right hand side they're standing around trying to cut pick up a hair then elbows go down forward and uh, right hand side elbows then uh, behind let's go see one more time last time to see the normal speed one two three that's what it have to be done but you need a lot of practice you can't just do it and just look at it okay remember this body motion you have to do practice a thousand times like this then make it straight up or it could be straight down now you see what I said I have I love it okay but the body is too flat compared to the left hand side the Mickey doing there also many people don't pay attention but look at your finger from the bottom up you see the finger shape your eyes are too high you can see that and how the finger shape if you look up you could see it difference point side the finger is thin and bottom side the finger is uh, thicker first guideline for the back of the head end of the finger to the second knuckle to make a first guideline move to the next section guideline is first knuckle to second knuckle new cutting section is second knuckle to end of the finger see if you don't careful you keep cutting shoulder and shoulder on the right hand side two o'clock position behind the back of the head vertically part the hair into two sections right and left starting at the bottom right take a very thin parting bring the hair down into your fingers level and cut the guide do not drop the guide go take the next thin section above moving above bring it down into the guide and cut moving up the head the same motion bringing hair into that guide and cut as you see she pick up a next level but never leave to the finger to the same position just feed the hair to the cutting position that's very important you want to cut the hair straight next section moving to the right next section take a thin part parting pull it down into the guide using your guide from the left cut moving up the head bring it down into the guide and cut yeah, each section go up there much more thicker. First, one or two sections very thin, then you go up higher again, more thicker again. Moving to the right again. Right. Take a small thin parting. Bring it down into your guide and cut. Watch out, watch out, watch out the finger. Go to, don't go farther down. Come this, this have to be straight, straight. Go this way. Don't follow the head shape. Okay? See the comb? Yeah, that's why to hold it down. Moving up the head, bring the hair into the guide and cut. Moving to the right again. Right. Take a thin parting. Bring it down into the guide. Right, there you go. That's and it. cut. Then you want to bring the hair from the top, from the front of the head, back into your guide, and cut. Okay, Moving to the right, 10 o'clock position. Then bring the chair. You have to pick up the back of the hair, the guideline. You are cutting eye levels are too high. Keep cutting shoulder and shoulder like this. Make sure bottom of the finger is parallel to the cutting line. This corner section is very important. You have to be corner and the back of the head merging spot. You have to be very carefully cutting hair. Take a thin parting small thin parting at the bottom including the back into your guide fingers level yeah. and cut
again this time uh, Wendy had a too much parallel to the head to the cutting position so this is the right position to do sit down to cut hair holding a guideline is a fast knuckle joint now you bring the open the finger to bring the hair down you feel like you're losing the guideline so that's why many people don't go down the finger in the front if you do that you know what's going to happen Fing front to the shoulder when you're cutting hair you feel like a little bit going down otherwise your haircut is going up front to be shorter that's many people happen that's why pushing her finger make sure go down there bring down the hair from the side top to bring down make sure finger have to be really flooded down like I show you see I pushing down there because see the tendency to going up moving to the right make the next thin parting bring it down into that guide and cut moving up the head bring it down into the guide Remember this finger exercise? Yes, you need an open finger wider, closer, and individual. That's only one way to hold the hair very firm. As you see it, I keep pointing down her finger to make sure it goes down there. Otherwise, she's cutting too short. Moving to the right again. Take a small, thin party. Bring the hair down into the guide. Level and cut the guide. Move back up the head. Bring it into the guide. And cut. Take the hair from the front. Comb it back into your guide. And cut. Any section of the haircut to finish it, make sure comb through the line, check the straight line on that. Then always look up to the cut line to check the haircut. We just finish right side of the back of the head, right side of the head. Now we go back again, back of the head again, left side, left side of the head. And we like to be final checkup haircut will be done. I'll see you and next time.